In this video, film, lots of film. Locke becomes a hipster and a lamb kebab becomes a hip traffic warden. So, affordable full frame DSLRs have kind of become reality. Kind of. Kind of, they're not that cheap, actually. Uh, okay. Or you could go for the film option. Yeah. Actually, I kind of worked this out with my rudimentary mathematics because a, a, a cheapish. The cost of shooting one roll of negative film and developing every week would cost around 12 US dollars. Times that by 52 for a year, and then times by three, which is most likely the lifetime of those full frame DSLRs. And we're looking at 1,872 US dollars in film cost and developing for three years. That means we had less than $200 each to buy a film camera equivalent with lens. Here are film alternatives to those cheapish full frame DSLRs. For the Nikon we have an F65, Canon A2E otherwise known as the EOS 5, and representing Sony we have a Minolta Maxim 7000. What? You never heard of that? Go for yeah. the kid! Jesus! Minolta 7000, this is the first successful AF system, I mean, uh, yeah, AF system, autofocus, autofocus system, the first successful one. Apart from the EOS, which was the most successful AF system ever. It's the first successful AF system. Doesn't matter who, who remembers the first. But there was one thing we had to do first, to get some film. So anyway, I, I got this dead cheap, and it still came with a roll of film still in there. So, um, Kodachrome, can't use that, unless you want to develop that in black and white somewhere. So we will come to the best place, get some film. Yes, of course, the best place in town. Yeah, film me home. Let's go in. Okay. So Cecilia has actually got the largest, the world's. Ah, the garage. Yeah. <laughs> we got the largest collection of unprocessed film. You probably already heard of her already. I haven't even seen some of these before. Something more yeah. interesting will be this camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can use it in a small camera. I can show you. Oh, it works, cute. yeah. <laughs> this camera it works okay, and then you can put it a row of this kind of film inside. And then <laughs> Look at that, it's like, oh, like candy. It's like a bullet. So yeah, and then you just load the film, and then all the shutters for this camera working. Just one shutter speed. Two shutter speed. Oh. <laughs> wow. Right, what film can we get for this? For street photo, I would recommend that uh, you can have something colourful, which is this one. Yes. Uh, which is uh, used by a famous um, Japanese uh, photographer. The uh, are far. Uh, the thing is with sunglasses is that because most of these cameras are 80s cameras, apart from your one. So I've got a little surprise installed here. Hey. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Yeah. Alambi? No. Got you um costume again, actually. No. Oh, hang on, hang on. My <laughs> Canon was released in 1992, so I had a nice normal suit for myself, which Locke stole. <laughs> that's that's the 80, 80 year old man more like. <laughs> I decided to try and champion the 80s look meant for Locke. The Nikon F65 was introduced in 2001, so I got her costume that looks like something from 2001. Space Odyssey, perhaps. Some people aren't too keen on the somewhat plastic bodies of the current crop of cheapish full-frame DSLRs. These lot have got enough plastic to make Hollywood Barbie jealous. But what of the features? We decided to ask Cecilia what she thought the key features of our cameras. The best feature about this is that when you put this to your eye, your eye actually controls the autofocus. This is one of the craziest Canons around, even though it looks the same as any other Canon EOS. They put an eye focusing control system in this where you pick which of the five focus points to use by looking at that point. It doesn't work. Really? Yeah. I don't think so. Oh no, it, it works. Oh well. What about Locke's super calculator? Actually, actually all the modern camera based on this one. Because mm. this is the first one with autofocus, successful autofocus, the first one with uh, it used plastic actually. Before that, all, all camera used uh, metal. And autofocus is not that bad compared to nowadays. That's quite. That's that's not. That's really quiet, isn't it? That 
the advance. Oh. But th this doesn't have a uh, what ultrasonic motor, whatever. The... It's cool. I love it. Oh, no. see, this actually worked. I got it to work now. <laughs> Damn, she likes it. This is the Nikon F65 yep. basic film camera. But you've got all the modes here that you can choose. I think that's the best bit of the camera. And <coughs> autofocus. <coughs> Not much shit. Autofocus. It's okay. simple. It's easy to use, right? And it's small. Yeah. The best one in terms of design is, is, is Canon. This one. Yes. It's time to shoot now. It's time to shoot. Thank you. We've got good taste. So this camera is the first one with AFN electronic winder, a standard. So it's just it's very easy. You just put it to that orange bit. Remember, this is the first time people experienced this in the 1985. Oh, That's it, done. You've got date back. <laughs> yeah, the mayor think that the end of the world is 2012. But we know her, obviously think that, what is, whatever. 2007, 2008, 2009. No. Oh, no. We know her think that 2009 is the end this of the is, world. This is way past its, you know, sell by date, so put it in the bin. No, put it. Min, Min just think 2009 is the end they're of the world. Bought, they're going to be bought by Sony. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we like the designs of the cameras we picked, but how do they perform Thank on you. the street? Anyway, this is one of the first EOS cameras to have this on it the dial. Inspirational. 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 Influential. These cameras are oldies, but are they goldies? I think the very fact that this Canon has an eye focusing thing makes it a classic. Look, one of the great things with this is that the maximum shutter speed, fastest shutter speed, 8 thousandths of a second. I've got um, 2,000. <laughs> 2,000? Thanks. 1985. Um, Long time. <laughs> Even though I'm saying that this is the first successful AMC uh, camera, uh, the first one, that means it's not very good, so I'm just going to set it to A mode, F6.7, <laughs> and uh, menu focus. You may notice that I'm using a Sony lens. That's cheating. <laughs> it works. Not cheating because the focusing motor is still in camera. So the speed is just, it still depends on the camera. The Nikon F65 has a minimal feature set. Almost refreshing to have just the basic features that you need. It took a bit of getting used to the eye focusing system. Now the eye focusing mechanism, you've got your five autofocus points. You've got all lined up horizontally. Now you look at the point and then you half press and that makes it focus and that it picks that point based on your eye movements. But the thing is you have to keep looking around your bloody brain. But the thing is it doesn't actually work when you have it vertically like this. Unless you do this of course. other locals wearing sunglasses but we look a bit stinky. They all take the same lenses that are used on their respective full frame DSLR counterparts. But how do they perform with these lenses? We decided to do a low light autofocus test to see how they perform. Now we're going to do an autofocus test in the kind of low light-ish test which one of these is the best. Okay. On autofocus? Yeah. On one. Yeah. Yeah. Three, two. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Yes. It's around the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, see ya. Can't get the. See ya. The Nikon has decent AF performance. Canon's early EOS is not too bad either, quicker than a Minolta. But the Minolta is from the 80s, and at least this doesn't focus on the background like the A99. Same lens used in our A99 review also. I mean this is pretty much 
set the standard for how other cannons that followed. It looks just like any other cannon today, with less buttons. But everything is in the same place. Locke was getting a bit sentimental about his camera. Well, talking about setting standard, like Ty said, he, that one set the standard for Canon. This one set the standard for all of the more modern cameras. Like the LCD display, it just looks like a modern camera. You got program mode, A, M mode, S mode, and like even a switch to switch from AF and manual focusing. Just you see so many, so many things that look like a modern DSLR. You see it set the standard for all the cameras after this one. Locke's camera calculator has a piece of technology that you don't see in today's cameras. One thing funny about the shutter button here is that it got touch sensitive. Now the middle thing is off. You don't have to half press it to, to turn it on, you just touch it. And it beep when it's the shutter speed is too low for handheld. The slow shutter speed beep shutter speed varies according to focal length too. Pretty nifty if it wasn't so bloody annoying. You can silence it, but you don't have uh, AF confirmed beep. If we compare these cameras to the recent cheapish full-frame DSLRs, in terms of the cost and technology, they won't win. They are old cameras with old tech. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy them today. Still, it's not an alternative option to those full-frame DSLRs. If you're looking at film cameras as an alternative to digital, then you'll probably still end up getting digital in the end. Shooting film and shooting with older cameras about the appreciation of the format and enjoyment derived from using these basic, sometimes quirky cameras. Can you have fun with these free auto-focusing SLRs? Yes, you certainly can. I don't know, if I had a choice of having a full frame camera, I wouldn't get one that is like today's one. I'll just get one that is totally old, manual focus. Yeah. This is still quite big, isn't it? It's big, and the features aren't exactly that good. But the conclusion is, is that the cameras of our childhood, not very good. Not very good. The cameras <laughs> of our kids' childhood, we don't have kids, Good. The cameras of our dad's childhood. Good. Good. So our childhood was pretty shit, really. I wanted. I I just go home and take out my OM one. See you.